In my previous videos, I have discussed some aspects of amniotic fluid, but I thought it would be nice to focus on amniotic fluid and its color as a way to keep us informed and empowered to make the right decisions if such situation occurs. Hello and welcome once again aboard Julie City. How are you keeping? I hope you're keeping well and safe. So we continue with our pregnancy care series and today we are going to be discussing amniotic fluid. Amniotic fluid and what the color tells you. If you've been following me, we've already covered two conditions related to amniotic fluid and we would have covered some bit of amniotic fluid. But I thought it wise to go into details about the amniotic fluid and what the color is telling you. So I encourage you to watch those videos. I'm sure you'll find them really helpful and insightful. Before we go on, I'll ask, have you subscribed? If you've not, then click on that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified as soon as my video pops up. Remember to like this video if you find it useful. That way the algorithm pushes it out to those who would actually benefit from watching this video. So get your cup of tea, water or whatever healthy drink you need to relax and let's get started. So the big question is what is amniotic fluid? So the amniotic fluid is that water that surrounds your baby inside your womb in the amniotic sac during pregnancy. That water-like substance that surrounds your baby inside the womb in the amniotic sac in pregnancy. Now amniotic fluid is made up with mainly water but as your pregnancy progresses other vital things begin to add to it. It contains nutrients, antibodies, and a whole lot of other good stuff that baby requires to thrive in pregnancy. It helps protect the baby, keep the baby warm. It helps baby practice swallowing and wee-weeing, helps with lungs development, digestive health development, renal function, and so on and so forth. Like, hmm, amniotic fluid is very important. Too much amniotic fluid is what we call polyhydramnios. I have that video, watch it. Too little amniotic fluid is what we call oligohydramnios. I have that video, watch it. Either way, it's not what we want. It's the equilibrium that we would prefer. Now, the amniotic fluid color is clear, pale, or light yellow. Clear, pale, or light yellow. And it's equally odorless, so no smell. Your amniotic fluid should have no smell. So, odorless, clear, light or pale yellow. That is the normal healthy amniotic fluid. However, there are other colors that I'm going to be covering in this video and explaining what they might indicate. It's important at this point for me to explain that as a pregnant woman, at any stage of your pregnancy, your amniotic fluid or your water breaks or releases it's important to consult your midwife or doctor that is looking after you in pregnancy now i'll put it better if at any point in your pregnancy you notice that your water has broken or it has released it's you're leaking put a pad immediately into your panty and contact your midwife or doctor looking after you in pregnancy this is important because that pad will give vital information during assessment it will indicate somehow the volume that has been lost and help the medical staff make decision whether they want to send you for an ultrasound to certify or to confirm what has happened breaking or the release of your water or the leak of your water normally should indicate the start of labor or the progression of labor however if your water begins to leak before 10, before 37 weeks. It is even more important that you consult your doctor or midwife immediately after popping your pad in. That way a management plan will be put into place in order to hopefully prevent labor from progressing because best place for baby to thrive and develop effectively is in the womb so we want to cook that baby for as long as possible so the earlier you make contact the better that's where a management plan will be put into place to ensure or to help hopefully help prevent labor from progressing because it is not yet term 
sometimes the management plans will be effective other times it might not but it helps to put a safety plan in place for you and your baby also if it is a term you notice your water break or leak it's still important to put your part in and contact your midwife or doctor looking after you in pregnancy that will also help number one to keep track of time as to when because you remember that water serves as a protection from infection so the longer baby stays without water the more chances infection might occur so that's one reason why at term you should consult your midwife immediately the other one with that pad information it will indicate the color so if if it was in the middle of your labor that the water breaks or releases it will give a clear indication of how well baby is progressing with that labor and if there's anything else to be done the first color we'll be looking at is green or brown so green or brown colored amniotic fluid might indicate that baby has passed his first poop what we call meconium while he's still inside normally we want baby to be born and then pass his poop passing his poop inside the womb means that baby might be stressed while still unborn if baby is stressed then baby might take his first breath and if it's a thick meconium there's the chance of baby breathing it in or aspirating it in and that might cause a blockage in his breathing tract which will also lead to other neonatal complications needing extra help for baby to breathe when it is born and all of that which we don't want that is why it's important to listen to what the color of your amniotic fluid is saying that's where you'll be empowered enough to make the right decision at the right time if needed the next color is if it is pink or it is red now depending on how pink or how red it is light pink if it is during labor might not indicate anything really pale pink might be just be a mixture of show however if that pink is bloody it might also mean that placenta is having issue or maybe has even detached what we call placenta abruption and it is important to be assessed quickly because a stitch in time saves nine if the amniotic fluid is full on yellow or even golden in color so yellow deep yellow or golden color it's very important that baby gets assessed immediately this might mean that there's something happening with the baby's own red blood cell that the amniotic fluid is telling finally if it is milky or cloudy looking that might be a sign of infection it is also important that this is checked out for the safety of mommy and baby in the case of infection mommy might also be feeling like a raised temperature or a little bit unwell that is general signs of uh, infection so just to reiterate our points a normal color of amniotic fluid is either clear pale or light yellow without odor if it is green or dark brown it is pink or dark red it is cloudy or milky or it is yellow or golden color any other thing different from the normal is important to get checked so at any stage when your water goes consult your midwife or doctor looking after you in pregnancy knowledge is powerful also if you notice that your amniotic fluid smells has an odor to it even very vital that you report because that will indicate infection or that baby has already passed poop while still unborn either way the most important thing is act as soon as your intuition tells you something is not right in my last video i talked about brains using your brains and i'm going to pop it here that helps you make decision your intuition is also indicated in your decision making too so at any point in your pregnancy you feel that something is not right then consult your midwife or doctor looking after you in pregnancy it is better safe than sorry i hope you found this video useful i would appreciate it if you give it a like leave your comment your experience i love to hear from you subscribe if you have not watch these videos that are popping up and until i see you in my next video remember your health is your wealth bye bye take care see you